hello all of you let's quickly understand how to take the how to renew your ifoa membership so uh, firstly you have to renew your ifoa membership you have to pay a renewal fees uh, in the month of october every year so you can pay between 1st october to 31st october if you delay this particular payment so they will charging you a little bit extra all right now and this is in order to maintain your membership with ifoa and in order to appear for the papers uh, even though if you are a qualified member then also you have to continue to pay this uh, membership renewal fees every year now starting with students uh, who, who have to pay this renewal fees so basically anyone who is a ifoa member and uh, or maybe um, is applying for the membership has applied for the membership before october will be paying this particular membership fees uh, secondly uh, if you are a non member and you, if you want to appear for any one cm1 or cs1 paper in the april uh, 25 attempt or, or the next attempt as a non member you don't have to pay this particular fees it's only for the members now in this we have different categories so student members members who are students and whose annual income is below 8700 pounds whose annual income is uh, below 8700 pounds will be uh, eligible for the reduced rate membership right so if you are eligible for reduced rate membership so here when i say annual income it's your own personal annual income it's not your family's entire annual income right so if it is below 8700 pounds then you will be eligible for the reduced rate membership uh, now what you will be doing is in your membership it will be showing that you are a reduced rate member student member and you have to make the payment right the payment that you have to make will be 87 pounds in case of a reduced rate if you are a reduced rate member you will have to pay 87 pounds right so first please log in into the portal once you log in into the ifoa portal go to this uh, membership once you click on this membership home it will take you over here where it will show you that you are a student member reduced paid and it shows for the year for the duration when it is paid so if you can see it's till 30th september 2024 that means i have to make the payment for the next year starting from 1st october 2024 till again 30th september 2025 right so here you will be seeing a button called action required the moment you click on this action required it will take you to this particular place where two things are given one is cpd declaration and one is apply for the reduced rate now this cpd declaration is something which a student member does not do anyone who is a qualified member needs to show their cpd declarations so if you are not a, a qualified professional yet for you this does not apply you just need to have to click on this it will take you to some other uh, tab over here um and here you need to do basic few things uh, you have your contact name your arn then automatically the current cpd status for you will be shown as out of scope because you are not qualified yet um what you need to do you just need to click on this i confirm that i am a student member and hence exempt from the cpd scheme because it's only for the uh, qualified members and you have to click on submit the moment you click on submit this process will be completed for you right so once this process is completed we'll be, we will be returning back to the original pay, play, uh, page over there again we have the application for reduced rate so you need to confirm ifoa that you are a uh, still eligible for the reduced rate meaning you are still someone who is earning less than 8700 if you are a student not earning dependent on your parents your annual income will be zero and you will be stating in a letter uh, you will write that uh, you will confirm you will declare basically that your parents are basically or your guardians are declaring that my uh, child or my um, 
the name of your your name your arn is a still a student member and has no annual income is dependent on me uh, for the fees payment and everything and then you just give the date location and the parents or guardians signature that will be basic a small just a one or uh, four five lines thing a declaration that you need to get it signed from your parents or guardians and you have to upload it over there right so how it will look like i'll quickly show you so again uh once this is done you will see that now uh they give you this reduce rate is done uh download the renewal letter so once you click on this renewal letter you will be able to download it right so here it will be showing you uh the entire structure is given so here it shows that as a student member reduced rate is 87 all right so now you can move ahead to the declaration like to the uh, reduced rate portion i'll quickly show that to you all so here the second aspect was apply for reduced rate so when you click on this apply for reduced rate again see it shows you are a student member automatically you need to click on this that i certify my annual income is below 8700 you need to uh, sh show that whether you are earning or not if you are like do you currently have any income if you don't have any income you have to click on no right and then what is the means of financial support so here you will be writing your guardians your parents whatever and then here you have this proof of financial support in this you will be putting uh, let's suppose whatever i described you a letter format get it signed make a scan of it or take a picture of it and put it over here upload it over here and then you have to click that i agree if you change in future you will let ifo know and just click on submit the moment you click on submit it will get submitted and you will be redirected to the payment page as i mentioned the payment will be 87 pounds right you have to mandatorily do it between 1st october to uh, 31st october if you are not doing it your membership obviously you will be still a member but then you will have to pay a higher amount and the last date for doing it is a uh, 31st December 2024. After which, uh, like the 31st December of every year, after which you will have to pay a higher amount. So make sure you do it uh, within these few days only, um, and they will not be charging you the higher amount. You will have to pay 87 pounds. For further queries, you can put down your questions in the comment section below. Thank you so much.